Hello everyone, welcome back. So this time we will talk about the finding the sample mean, variance, and standard deviation in the computational formula. So the following formula, as you see, one of one of these s equals something, and then the other one sigma equals something. That's the computational formula to find the standard deviation. So the big difference is the sample standard deviation case you divide by n minus one, but population case you divide by n. That's the only difference here. And then one more thing I want I want to tell you about this formula. You can utilize it for both. The data is non-repeating. Also, data data is repeating as well. Okay. So I'm gonna show uh, examples uh, for each case. Okay. <clears throat> the starting salary. The study collected six starting annual salary unit value in thousand for the associate degree holders, which means even though they are all uh, two digit numbers, but they are representing like a 21,000, 30,000, 35,000, 41,000, 50,000, and 55,000 like that. Okay? So the first step is you are organizing this data value on X column. I did it for you in this video. And now you need to find the sum of that data value. Okay, let's do it. So you add all this data, then you will get total sum become 232. Now we can find the mean value using this value. So because sample mean equal to total value, which is 232, and divide by number of data, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 232 divided by 6, that will be 38.667 like that. Okay? Now, the next step is you're finding each x value square. So that blank will be 21 square. So 21 square becomes 441. And 30 square becomes 900. And then 35 square becomes 1225. You keep on doing that, then you will get these values like that. And then if you find the total sum, then there will be 9772. Okay? Then we are almost ready to find the variance. Okay. So I'm going to go back to the formula and then review what we, what we have to do. So first of all, I'm going to take out inside the value, inside the one, there will be our variance. So it represents sum of the x square, which is this value, and then the sum of x square, which means this one square over n, don't forget that, and then over n minus 1. So I'm going to do it. So s square becomes 9772 minus 232 square over 6 over n minus 1, which is 6 minus 1 become 5. You get that? I'm not gonna doing square root yet because you are calculating the variance. The variance means inside the value here. That's the reason I'm gonna just uh, take it out inside the formula and then rewrite it here. So that will be our sum of the x square value. This will be sum of x square over total number of n over n minus one, which is five. If you calculate it. So you will get 160.2667 like that. Therefore, the standard deviation s equal to square root 160.2667. If you do it, it 
you will get about 12.66 basically. Therefore, we found uh, this data sample mean, which is 38.667, sample variance 160.2667, and the sample standard deviation 12.66. Okay, then let's move on to the next example. Number of siblings. There were 11 people responded the survey question, how many siblings do you have? The following data indicates surveyed responses. Okay, so X means number of siblings and F means number of responses, which means uh, the five people say uh, they have one sibling and two people said two sibling, three people said three sibling, and one person said four sibling. Okay, but now here. We need to understand difference between the previous one and this question. So originally, this one case, I have to rewrite that. One, 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 and two, two, and three, 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 and four. Okay? So they are all each x value. However, because one is repeating, 2 is repeating, also 3 is repeating, we collect repeating this number as one row and then combine as one category. Okay? Therefore, the total number will be x times f here. Okay? As you see, 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 will be 5. Same, same way, 1 times 5 becomes 5. Therefore, you need, you must find out x times f, there will be some of the x value. Okay? So this become 5, this become 4, this become 9, this become 4 here. You understand what I'm talking about? The reason we are getting x times f because you need to find out total value. That's the reason. Okay. Now we know total frequency becomes 11. And this is our total value. So 5 plus 4 plus 9 plus 4. There will be 22. Therefore, our sample mean x y equal to 22 over 11 becomes 2. There will be our sample mean. Okay, now we start finding the sample variance and standard deviation. Okay. So, as you see this formula before, then we need to find out sigma x square value. But that will be this time x square times f value here. Because don't forget that x square value repeating this amount of time for each category. Okay, therefore, the first blank becomes 1 square times 5, which is 5. And second blank, 2 squared times 2, so become 8, and 3 squared times 3, so become 27, and 4 squared times 1 become 16. And then you need to find the total for that. So you calculate that, then you will get total become 56 here. Okay, then now we are ready to find the variance. Therefore, now we go back to the formula. So I just provide the formula on the bottom here. So before we have sigma x squared minus sigma x squared over n over n minus 1. But that formula we can rewrite sigma x squared times f minus sigma x times f squared over n over n minus 1. We can rewrite this way. Okay? So using this formula, then we can find our sample variance and the standard deviation. Okay, so S square becomes this value. I'm going to bring down, bring up here more so you can see better. This value. So 56 minus this value square. So 22 square over 11 over n minus 1 which is 10. If you calculate that you will get 
So your standard deviation s equal to square root 1.2, which is 1.095. Okay. Therefore, we found sample mean, which is two sample variance 1.2, and then the standard deviation 1.095. That will be the answer for this problem.